Moss here and you're watching Training with the Pros. Today we're actually at Madhouse Gym and we are here with IFBB Pro King Sporty. Uh, he's gonna be taking me to a workout. Uh, what are we hitting for today? We got some chest and arms. Chest and arms. It's about to get real. Yeah. Savage. You're gonna be savage. All right, let's, let's get it. I'm going all the way. I'm going to another level. So I'm giving you one. Yeah. All right. Uh, Raven New York, okay? All right, cool. Five, four, three, two. So basically, it's just kind of like how did you get into like fitness and like bodybuilding and stuff? Hold on, I want to say, yeah. Is yeah. yeah. that coming up here? It's too late, buddy. Football my whole life, and ran track my whole life. You know, I, I was always this guy that I always wanted attention. And, um, my junior year, I went to prison. I mean, cause I kept going to jail so much, you know, I kept going in and out, in and out. Uh, detail officer, he took me in this small room where I used to work at and like clean offices and stuff, and he showed me which piano. Uh, so um, I was a football player, you know, I ain't thinking nothing about it. So when I first seen it, I was just like, damn, he's getting all this money. And he's riding around happy and he's big, you know. And so I just got inspired, you know. And I was about 18 years old, so when I seen that, I was just like, hey, like, when I get out, I do that. And there's thousands of kids that come in front of him and say that all the time. But, you know, he didn't really believe me until you see me now, you know. I, like, I got out, and that's how I learned about it, you know, yeah. in a small room. You ready, man? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so we're going to warm up. Always good to get the stretching and um, make sure the blood's flowing through the uh, muscle before we start lifting heavy weights. So, watch out. Let's go. It's got 20. All right, cool. So, you like to do feet on the bench? Yes, feet on the bench. I like to do feet on the bench just because you know, you're engaged more your chest. Uh, we'll do 20 just to get the blood in there. So, drop it deep. This is, yeah, this is warming it up. Make sure you get a good stretch. You're about to get savage in a little bit now. But this workout is more like, just go to your failure, try to see how far you can push your muscles. So, we're gonna push them today. <laughs> I put it in once or twice out the week, that way I can have my heavy volume workouts. Right. And I keep it between eight to 10 reps, and maybe four sets. She want the bezel, yeah. I want the mentals, yeah. I'm crash landing, look at my incidentals, yeah. That was it. That felt good right there. For real. Hey guys, today's episode is sponsored by Muscle God. If you're interested in stylish and comfortable gym clothes of your own, check out the link in the description below. Yeah, I always worked out in gym. I'm not considered a big guy, you know, I'm considered really aesthetic. So I was always with the big guys. They would hit the water bags. And I'll be in there and I'll be like, they're strong, but I'm, I'm mentally crazy strong, you know? So I felt like anything you can do, I can do. So I used to go in there and I used to kill it. And they're like, dude, this little dude's crazy. Like, he's gonna be a beast. And I told him when I get out, I'm gonna do bodybuilding and go to the Olympia. And now I'm on my road to the Olympia, so. was the term pro and not term pro. So, so now I want to go to Olympia. And I want to win the Olympia. You know, bodybuilding basically saved me. That's all I had was the gym. I could sleep in the gym. I can work out in the gym. And that was why my place, that's why I stayed at for a long time. It helps keep your emotions and everything that you're going through in control. You know, it's not all about just lifting and getting big. Anybody can walk in the gym, as you can see, you gotta have purpose. If I'm not in a place like this, I feel like I'm out of my comfort zone. I have to be in 
the state of mind where I feel like I'm still struggling, I'm still sleeping on the streets, I'm still in prison, you know, I'm still fighting. So that's what working out means to me. <laughs> One more set. One more set. It's going to be basically just 10 reps. Everything 10 reps is going to start our ways from the 40s. And it's all about getting the squeeze. It's going to get heavier and heavier and heavier. You got to just keep getting it as many, can, as many chances as you can. So you can't bitch out. You got to do it. Sit down and we got all peaches. We're gonna work on the pretty part of the bicep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, not me, so we're going up. Like I told you, the weight's not stronger than you. I need him alive, yeah, Sporty. Shaking. Huh? <laughs> you need him alive? Just barely. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. How you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I feel shaky. Uh -uh. Feel hungry. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little work. And that's how you train. My prep is I'm, a, I'm a always lean all year round. I start my cardio in the last two weeks of prep. I'm gonna do 20 minutes of cardio, and I'm like the most conditioned on stage. Coach is constantly pushing meals, constantly pushing carbs because I lose weight really quick. I'm blessed with that, but everyone has a different physique. Never compare yourself, never put no one above you. It's all about you bringing your best package. So if you bring your best package, if you're focused, you're not worrying about nothing that's going around, you're not worrying about social media. You're staying locked in, which I tell all my people to stay locked in. You have no choice but to win overall or to go to Olympia. Because if you're locked in, there's nothing else that can come in inside that. So just stay locked in. All right, so that was it for this episode of Training with the Pros with King Sporty. Um, he is not only physically strong, but mentally strong, as you can tell by his incredible story. Uh, King Sporty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on um, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook is... Uh, Barry Irvin, just uh, B-A-R-R-Y-I-R-V-I-N-G. And Instagram is obviously IFVB Pro underscore Sporty. So you can always find me on those things. And even on YouTube, type in Sporty, I should be able to pop up. Sweet, man. Thank you, King. Anytime, you killed it, yeah. Anytime. Let's go eat.